It is a case of he said, she said, and at the center of all of it is an eight-foot boa constrictor. Remember last month when this guy was found slithering a, around a yard in Post Falls? Animal control couldn't find its owner, so they put it in foster care. Three weeks later, the snake ended up in the care of a Spokane man. How or why the snake got there is what's being disputed. KXLY Force Tori Brunetti did some snake investigating today to find out more about this snake snafu. Tori? Yeah, well, this is an example of a much smaller version of the snake that was found in Post Falls about a month ago. Chris Altringer, the snake's second unofficial owner, says this whole thing is one big miscommunication that has gotten out of control. Altringer says he took the snake when the foster family didn't want to take care of it or really couldn't take care of it anymore. But the sheriff's department says he bought it off Craigslist and the foster family sold a snake that just didn't belong to them. I walked across here and right under this apple tree was a snake. Seventy-year-old Ardella Quayley found this snake about a month ago. Back then she wondered who would want an eight-foot boa constrictor. Because they're creepy, you know, so no, I don't, I wouldn't want one. Little did she know that weeks later the snake would be in the middle of a type of custody battle. I think it's out of control. I think it's, it's something somewhere some along, uh, along the lines communication was broken. 23-year-old Chris Altringer, who already owns one snake and became the homeless snake's second unofficial owner. The lady was looking for a, a snake cage for the a snake that had been found in Post Falls because uh, hers had broken. That is how Chris says this whole thing started. The snake broke its cage and its foster parents, Matthew and Anna Harrington, were looking for a new one. Yeah, I also told her that if you ever find you can't care for the snake, then I'll, I'll take care of it. And she emailed me back. She said, well, it's actually, you know, we broke our cage. We don't need to put it in. So, you know, if you could take it, that'd be great. $250 later, the snake was his. The problem? Kootenai County officials say it was never the Harrington snake to get rid of, and they knowingly sold a snake worth $1,100 that wasn't theirs. The Harringtons didn't return our calls, but told Chris the snake belonged to them. At first they were foster parents, but then the, the Kootenai County had told them after seven days, if no one claimed that the snake would be yours, to, to keep or find another home for it. And uh, it had been almost three weeks, and she never heard back from Kootenai County. Kootenai County says they never made that promise and want the Harringtons charged with grand theft. I do not think I'm guilty of anything, and I do not think the, uh, the Anna and Matt, the people I got the snake from, are guilty of anything. They were, like I said, I think there was a mis miscommunication uh, in the beginning and th that's where it all went wrong. Whether or not the Harringtons will be charged is up to the prosecutor's office, and who will eventually own the snake is still unknown. All this confusion is summed up pretty well by something else Ardella Quayley said the day she found the snake. I just wondered, you know, what do you do with the snake? You know, who do you call? And Kootenai, Co Kootenai County officials admit that they don't have a policy for fostering out snakes, but they said that they told the Harringtons that they were not supposed to get rid of the snake in any way with at least checking with officials first. Live in East Spokane, Tori Bernetti, KXLY4, HD News.